or T scores on top of each column, but how you, that rate is how you load into the ground. The force is um, the stiffness that you create or compliance that you create. And then the time is how you accelerate or triple extend from the ground. Triple extension is when you <coughs> jump, when you run and leave the ground, you want triple extension, ankle, knee, and hip. So each one of those graphs depicts a different athlete, whether they're a rotational athlete, a reactive athlete, or an athlete who likes to run in a straight line. Right. So let's look at this. This is one of your actual athletes. Maybe you should start by right. saying who Jeff Withy is. Jeff Withy um, was a, uh, started off as a volleyball player out of San Diego. Um, he was a highly recruited uh, Division I basketball player, transferred to us from Arizona. But that first graph shows me that he's a volleyball player or one that likes to overcome gravity. He's a hip dominant athlete. So um, Jeff didn't like to bend his ankles and bend his knees very well. And if anybody knows who Jeff was, he'd dunk the ball and then land and fall backwards because he wasn't able to decelerate through his ankles and knees. Then we got the technology. His junior year, I didn't get any calls from any NBA team. Then we implemented this technology, and it told us exactly what movement signature he needed, which was right there on the right. So we turned him into a highly reactive basketball player. He led the nation in blocks. He was a defensive player of the year. Well, so you're, so you're looking at this, and, and he's getting up, but then what, you know, can you go into a little bit of the specifics? Like you need to, it looks like you need to, you know, he has this high drive, sort of uneven explode and right what, uh, what load. changed what, what his, is it what is it that you do to make him look more like this well we front load everything so he has to bend his knees and ankles but the biggest <coughs> most significant thing that we did was um, plyometric depth jumps where you have to land and absorb this shock method where um, it serves a, as a protective device so it's a fine line w with what I do with the athletes you know um, so jumping off a box and then jumping up. But what you want to do is create stiffness or that bracing is what, how we trained him to change that. Right. And uh, you mentioned that initially you weren't getting any interest from the NBA. but Then his senior year, I, I probably talked to half the teams, and he was picked in the second round of the draft. 